Well, good evening, you... Well, I guess it's an afternoon. Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. We're looking at a beer. It's a re vacation review, so... It's full-on re vacation review. My one cup is dirty. We have Big Spruce Kitchen Party Pale Ale. It's an organic pale ale at 5.5% alcohol by volume. Apparently, in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick and all that, kitchen parties are... Are like the shindig, you know. Here in Ottawa, Ontario, your your you get you know, like your bonfire shindig. They have kitchen parties. Um, I'm sure they, there's bonfires and stuff too, but I'm just like every province has what they call their their gathering, and uh, yeah. So, do we have anything on here? Solid. Solidly bitter and wonderfully aromatic, this beer pairs well with fit, fiddles and foot stomps. Slanche. So yeah, a shindig. Just a shindig in your kitchen. And certified organic. Okay. And I believe they are one of three organic breweries in Ontario. Not in Ontario, in Canada. Bose is organic, like fully organic. They are fully organic, and I, I know there's at least one more. I just can't remember it. It's been a long time since I've had to do this stuff. I'm just trying to get my finger under the... That is a tight tab. Okay, one second. Sorry, the tab was just too tight for me to do the usual just bang. I had to do the one finger on front, one finger behind, and that's hard to do with one hand. Okay, so... Hmm... Smells, smells like grapefruit and pine. I mean, it smells like your average pale ale. Let's uh, spin you around. You can look at Otis while we do this. Bang. There's our buddy Otis. Okay, so. Okay, so the color is almost the same as the can. Um, yeah, it's it smells like your average pale ale. And I mean, your average pale ale is probably... As long as it's not as solidly bitter as they say, I could see this be a good shindig, foot stomping type of time. Okay. It has that bitterness to it, it does. It has the grapefruit and pine bitterness to it, but it's not, oh my god, in your face. It does sit a little bit on the back of the throat. But that's a solid, easy drinking pale ale that I could see not every domestic beer drinker would be able to drink this, but I could see some of them be able to drink this, and that would make it into a kitchen party beer. Yeah. A little bit of a multi sweetness up at the forefront. Back end, we have, um, back end we have the just dirtiness, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, um, sorry, I'm trying to think here while I'm walking around. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine, a little bit of dirtiness, a little bit of resininess, uh, but very, again, very easy drinking. It does have almost a bready biscuitiness that hits with the, with the back end, uh, bitterness. I could see this be a beer that, you know, my dad would not like this beer just as it is. But you get a couple blues in them or something and hand them this, that, that would be a great addition to the kitchen party, you know. You, somebody brought a 12-pack of Moosehead. Somebody brought out a 12-pack of blue. You brought a 12-pack of this. You just make sure this is the last beer of the night. And I don't think you'd get as many complaints out of the other members of your kitchen party. Out of 10 on this, I'm going to give this a 7. I would buy this again. Thank you, guys. Cheerio. Bye-bye.